to do today is we're going to learn major scales, how to create all of your major scales. The quicker you memorize your major scales, the easier the rest of the class is going to be. Everything's built off the major scale. Your minor scales come off the major scales. Your modes come off the major scales. Your triads come off the major scales. Your diatonic triads come off the major scales. And all of how to construct your four-part chords come off the major scales. Your intervals, you need to know your major scales to fit in your intervals. So everything from now on deals with the major scale. And I'm going to give you the major scale in two sections. Anybody recognize that? Yeah. That's the lower four syllables for every major scale that ever existed, correct? Don't worry, me five. Okay, now, in order for you to know all of your major scales, all you have to memorize is this. That's it. That formula will give you all of your major scales. All right? Here's how. The distance between Do and Re is two half steps. The distance between Re and Mi is two half steps. And the distance between Mi and Fa is one half step. Okay? Now that's the bottom four notes of your major scale. Realize that every note in a major scale has a different letter name, meaning there will not be two notes in a major scale that have the same letter name, except for Do and Do. If we're, if we're making a C major scale, for instance, then we have, we begin it on C, F, G, A, B, and we end it on C, C. But all those other seven notes, they all have a different letter name. They're diatonic. Remember the diatonic half step, D, different? Well, all of the notes in a major scale are diatonic different letter name. All right? Now, all of the scales go in the alphabetical order. So if I say I am going to make an, a C scale, the next note has to be some kind of D. D follows C in the alphabet. So you say this. Okay, I might see the next note has to be some kind of D. What kind of D is two half steps above C? Now you go to your keyboard, you put your finger on C, you count up two half steps, one, two, and tell me what kind of D is that? What is it? D natural. D natural. D natural. Now, what follows D in the alphabet? The next note has to be some kind of E. Say that. The next note has to be some kind of E. D natural. What kind of E is two half steps above D? D natural. Right. What comes after E? Some kind of? F. What kind of F is one half step above? F natural. F natural. F sharp is two half steps. Now we have the first four notes of the C major scale. Let me play for you. Hope you hear it. Correct? Okay, now listen. I'm teaching you this with the key of C, and everybody, most of us, can kind of figure that out already. We don't even have to say flat or sharp because there's no flats or sharps in C. But I'm only trying to teach you the method because when we come to this, all right, let's make a major scale out of F sharp. Oh, now we have to say this. Well, what follows F in the alphabet? G. Some kind of G, correct? Say some kind of G. Some we don't know yet what kind of G it is. Let's count up two F steps from F sharp. Tell me what kind of G that is. G sharp. That's a G sharp. Now, what follows G in the alphabet? Some kind of A, A R, musical alphabet. What kind of A follows G sharp? Two F steps above G sharp. What kind of A? A sharp. A sharp. If you put your finger on G sharp and you go two F steps above, please do that because you're not going to memorize all this today. A sharp. What comes after A in the alphabet? Some kind of B. And what kind of B is one half step above A sharp? The B flat is A sharp. Put your finger on A sharp. And go a half step above. Tell me what kind of B is that? 
You understand the process I'm telling you? 